Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be restocking and organizing my everyday pantry. We're going to be turning the pantry from this into this. We are going to tackle this mess today. Uh, <laughs> it is just, stuff is just everywhere and it's honestly bare. So I'm going to do a big rotate restock and pull a lot of stuff that is in my prepper pantry. Pull it from there and put it in here. I want to get this back stocked because y'all know this is my everyday pantry. Well, if you're new here, this is my everyday pantry and then my prepper pantry is in there. Um, so I'm going to pull a lot of the things from there, put them in here, get this restocked how I want it. And then I'm going to max. <laughs> and then I'm going to kind of do like an overview of what I'm extra stuff I need to get, like restock in the prepper pantry and reorganize all that. But that's going to be a whole separate video. This video is just focusing on this pantry. So let's get this all organized. So I went grocery shopping, thanks to my prepper pantry. <laughs> I just pulled all this stuff from there so I can replenish my everyday pantry. And I like to do this um, because we use our prepper pantry. What I have is a working prepper pantry. And so I pull from it, use it first. And then when I buy new, I put it back in my prepper pantry. So uh, this is my everyday pantry. So this is the stuff that I pull from first. So that's why I pulled what I needed from my prepper pantry, which is in here. So I will put it in here, use this stuff first. And then when I buy new to put in my prepper pantry, it will go straight in there instead of putting it in here. It's my little rotation system. Um, so that way, um, you know, first in, first out, nothing goes out of date. It's all good to go. So I've pulled stuff that I want to put in here to replenish. So let's get all this put up.
So for my vegetables, I still want to rotate first in, first out. But as you see, I do have some here. These are older dates. These are newer dates since I pulled them from the proper pantry. So I've just pushed these up. And I just slide them in the back. Same way with the potatoes. And then these other ones, they're all the same date. So I just push them in. And then we've got corn. I need to go get one more can of cream style. That's the only can of carrots I have. I used a bunch of them um, over the weekend. Um, we had, I did a dinner. So I need to prep, stock up on carrots because that's my last can. But I will, you know, fill that back up with, with carrots. So this top shelf is a little bit, as you see, there's not a lot of space, but I do like to keep one of each cream soup up here um, just to have. So it's not really organized i honestly need to get another one of these and extend it out where i can store more canned goods in here i may look i found that at goodwill so i may keep my eye out and see if i can find some more of those at goodwill because this isn't very organized the bottom part is but the top part's not but like i said i know i keep one of each in here so once i pull it um, i know that there's no more in there Okie dokie. I think I'm happy with it. <laughs> My pepper pantry looks bare now, but we have got our popcorn, um, cheese crackers, which I need to get more of, goldfish kind of stuff like that. And then we've got our sweet bin, which is cookies and honey buns. And then this one is cereal bars, granola bars, gummies. And then we've got First crispy treats. Those are the snacks, snack bands everybody can grab out of. Then we've got our potatoes, our rice, noodles, hamburger helper, mac and cheese. Uh, this is overflow of like packages of rice and beans and stuff that's already, but are not rice, um, pasta and like dry beans and stuff. And then we've got our mason jars with our, this is orzo, minute rice, and then this is a long grain white rice just some baked goods i didn't even worry about up there i haven't touched that in forever so we're not even gonna worry about it honestly need to get new bins for up there i need to go to the dollar tree and find some more of these and where i can easily because where i'm so short it's hard to reach up there and if i can get bins then i can just like pull it all down and see whatever th whatever is of that so we might do that later but We've got a cereal, um, cereal pancake in here. We've got muffin mixes, oatmeals, breakfasty things, syrup. We've got cups of noodles and rice, crackers, breadcrumbs, breading, corn mix, or corn um, jiffy mix, Belveda, macaroni, all of our canned goods, all organized. Uh, spaghetti sauce, um, Alfredo, I think there's some buffalo sauce, sauce back there, and then we've got our chips, 
Um, we're still eating on. We bought these before Valentine's Day because these are the Valentine themed um, little packs. We bought these before and we're still eating on them. Winston takes them for snack and lunch um, when he packs his lunch. We're still eating on those. And then these are what's left of the big pack when I bought all of those shells from Sam's Club. So we definitely need to do a Sam's Club haul. We just haven't had time to go. And honestly, financially, <laughs> y'all know that Sam's Club is great. When you can buy in bulk and afford it, it's definitely great. We just haven't had the money right now. We have other life things going on. But I feel so much better. This is all organized. I'm very happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Something a little different than my normal monthly, you know, food storage organization. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gives you some inspiration to go clean out your pantry, restock it, and always, always, always say, prep, stock up when you can, prep, build you a prepper pantry. <laughs> it's very good to have food security. Um, someone commented on my last um, prepper pantry video and said, um, having like a prepper pantry and having food security is like having a savings account. And I was like, you know what? That is so true. Like I've never thought of it that way. Like having food security, like this is my everyday pantry, but y'all have seen, it's a mess in there. Um, that's like I said, that's a whole nother video another day, but having that food security in the prepper pantry, it's just such a blessing. And it's so right. It literally is like having a savings account. If you have a savings account for emergencies, definitely consider having a savings account for food. <laughs> Build that food security so you have that for your family. Inflation is absolutely ridiculous right now. Having Finding stuff in stock is also ridiculous and price is going up. You know, it's just, why not? Why not have that for your family? Build it a little at a time, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.